snake. You're all snuggled up. Teeth brushed. Good. Would you like a drink? your bedtime story so you can fall asleep nice and easily I've chosen is how to find flower fairies. One. to make it look more magical. Research conducted by Cicely Mary Parker. This page is a letter. Dear Stulcy, I am giving you this special book so as to pass on some of the wisdom that I have gained over the years. Since our time spent together in Stonington many years ago, I have made many more mysterious encounters which cannot be easily explained. These lead me to believe that fairies really do exist. After much painstaking searching, I have discovered that there are five special places where fairies make within the pages of this book and you will find these magical places the treetops the forest floor the garden the wayside and the marshes tread softly and speak quietly when you set foot in the fairy's world who knows perhaps you allowed me to capture glimpses of the fairies as they explore our world. It's a photo album. Some fairies spotted in a family photograph. At the bottom of Edith's garden.
I love about this book is everything is so detailed. So much folding has gone into this. And thought. observation has led me to believe that the treetops are a favoured place for various to make their homes, and I have discovered that the oak is a particularly popular location. The mighty oak lives for hundreds of years, and has provided a safe home for many generations of fairies. Indeed, it's a leaf an excellent shelter for a fairy house. Look up, look up at any tree. There is so much for the eyes to see. And if you're quiet enough, maybe a laughing fairy in the tree. Look carefully. One under there. Leafy houses are cleverly concealed. Oh, there's one in there. Look. Oh, there's one here too. Clever use of clothing and colours enables fairies to disappear into the leafy backdrop. Fairy garments are sewn from leaves, and the fairies make new costumes whenever the seasons change. There's one up here. It's a nice red hat, green tights, and an orange shirt. prefer the security of being on the ground. And it is here, at the foot of the ancient oak, that I have discovered another favourite dwelling place, the forest floor. Fairies will require their homes to be cleverly concealed. A hollow in an old tree stump can be transformed into the perfect abode. When you happen to come across a tree stump, carefully at any knot holes, which the fairies often use as entrances to their homes. Look at the hidden entrances. Fairy steps are crafted from twigs. states that fairies always keep their homes in excellent order. I can well imagine my fairy friends 
sweeping with a twig and a captain for a broom. circle of fungi growing but remember the fairies only ever dance by moonlight can you see a trail of fairy dust signs of forest fairies there are many signs to look out for which may reveal the presence of fairies Arrangements of torn leaves to pass a message on to fairy friends. Moss trails. Fairies sometimes sprinkle a sparkling fairy dust upon trails of moss to guide others to their home. Tiny patterns. Unusual patterns carved to a tree trunk may indicate a fairy living inside. perfumed paradise, the fairies that desire beauty above all else. Every flower has its own fairy to take care of it, which explains why most of my own fairy encounters have taken place in the garden. Flower fairies wear outfits fashioned from fallen petals by dressing them to impersonate the flower surround them, the fairies may fully flutter unseen. A closed flower may be carefully opened to reveal a sleeping fairy within. No need for journeying. Seek far. Where there are flowers, Summer days, some fairies hang their washing out to dry on the webs of friendly stewardess. Look for a glistening petals hanging from the webs. Right there, see? Many flowers have useful functions for fairies. Some of them as secure as a secure. 
here in hiding places, the precious subjects, such as story, stores, magical fairy dust. Just in the end. All that fairy dust in there. situated by the wayside are very safe places for fairies to live Passing along the wayside, and if you see, if you can spot large numbers of butterflies fluttering around, hedgerow fairies often fly amongst the butterflies. They provide an excellent means of concealment while traveling. Can you see any remnants of nutshells or berries on the ground? These are signs.
of humans Venture to the marshlands Division visit Great care must be taken here But the rewards may be ample Especially if you are lucky enough To happen upon the very monarchs themselves Dearest Dulcie, I was lucky enough to glimpse and capture on my trusty gift. 